Hey, y'all. So here's my Epic 8000 right where I left it when I took that picture earlier. I thought I'd go ahead and do a vid. It's got a Guardian hose on it. The sidekick I bought for $3 at a my favorite thrift store and um, thought of the girl that had this machine and gave it to her and she loved it uh, to clean out her car with it and all like that but then the power nozzle neck broke for the second time and you know looking rough and whatever and she, unfortunately now it's a missile power force bag list so we won't go there um, but anyway here's the machine um, it's plugged in, green light on. <clears throat> Missing the crevice tool, but it's got the other two. It's got a new filter under there. When I bought the bags, it came with a filter, so I replaced it. It's on its second bag. I filled the first one up pretty quick, believe it or not. I put a coaster under it, that's why it's sideways to keep the brush off, but I'll move that in a minute when I crank it up. So we'll just move this out of the way. I don't really have anything to vacuum because I've been taking care of my carpet since I did the shampooing the other day. So we'll just turn it on. I'll crank it up on full speed. Now, this motor is bad in that, so it sounds pretty lucky, so just hang in there. <laughs> All right. And obviously, you know that. The lower it goes, the worse it sounds. Well, maybe not. I thought it did, but it had to come out too bad. Back on the green light goes on, the red light goes on. Go 
I forgot how much I like this machine, but I don't use it much because of this nasty noise there. And the the cord, I think the cord reel works pretty good. It's been a while since I've used it, so let's check it out. Yeah, I, th I thought this one was a little weak, I think. Uh, well, it did all right, I guess. It just has to be perfectly straight, I guess. All right. So I'll be catching joy later.